Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? Um, I've got two things that I'm going to be talking about really quick, okay? Uh, first is the breached dam, okay, in East Palestine, Ohio. Uh, the collapse that happened um, of a makeshift dam that was designed to hold back the wastewater and the new concerns by the local groups and the residents about nearby uh, incineration of contaminated soil from last month's train derailment are the latest anxiety producing woes to behest this community of East Palestine, Ohio. And local residents are scared of what the released waters could do to the community. The residents of East Palestine are still being ignored a month after 38 cars of Norfolk Southern train went off the tracks on February 3rd. Now, it's been more than a month, okay, since their lives were turned upside down. But they still are not getting what they need from the government or from Norfolk Southern. There are fresh fears over the incineration of the contaminated soil that was taken from the crash site, not because of one of the nearby facilities where the material is being taken has, has a history of the EPA violations. Okay, and I, I talked about this in a video already. The violations, the aquifer, okay, uh, the, the latest violation was back in 2019. And they're, they're just going to dump it and forget it. That, that's, that's what they're going to do. All right. Now, this new plan that they have in place is horrifying, to say the least. Incinerating this soil is especially risky because some of the contaminants that the residents and independent chemical experts fear that is in this waste, like dioxins and PFAs, have not been tested for by the EPA. And they do not incinerate easily. and they also cannot be incinerated. Why on earth would you take this already dramatically overburdened community and ship this stuff up a few miles away only to have it be deposited right back where it came from? Why? The plan to incinerate dioxin and PFAs contaminated soil from Norfolk Southern's toxic spill deeply trouble, troubles these residents and will continue to build distrust and anxiety. Now it is not clear the plan will work and puts communities downwind at risk of contamination. These residents, they have fear. They've had fear. And now, this just puts their anxiety over the top. So now, once again, Ohio. You know, it's, it's really, really hard to wrap your brain around everything that happens and especially why Ohio, why? What the flip is up with Ohio? Why target Ohio? Why? I need answers and I can't find them. I can't. And I dig. Okay? Like my husband always says, a pissed off Italian woman does more research than the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> so, now there's a cargo train that derailed in Springfield, Ohio. 
and residents are being told to what? Shelter in place. You know what that means? Get the hell out of Dodge. Now a hazmat crew is on the scene and the Clark County Emergency Management Agency is asking pre residents within a thousand feet of the train derailment at Ohio 41 near the prime Ohio business park to shelter in place out of an abundance of caution. Pack your bags and get the hell out. Now, You know how we've had an influx of Californians to Florida? I'd rather have an influx of Ohioans to Florida. Just saying. Now, the Clark County Sheriff's Office has confirmed that deputies are on the scene of the train derailment that happened. And deputies and medics responded to the area of State Route 41 and Gateway Boulevard near Clark County Fairgrounds about five o'clock in the afternoon. Dispatchers confirmed that they are on scene, but no other information or confirmation or anything was available at the time. So hazmat crew was confirmed to be on the scene. State Highway Patrol and Clark County Sheriff's Office are on the scene. We have news, there's news crews and blase squase on the scene. Watch this. Look at that, they're all piled right on top of each other. That's insane, man. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's going to take him forever to clean that up. He said there's hazmat stuff. Who's oh, driver not supposed to be here? Get some more pictures. I'm getting video. Here, portrait. Something happened to my video. Oh my gosh. You do? He's Dave, we're going to get in trouble for this. You want to switch drive? You want to drive? No, I ain't driving. So, as you can see, I wanted to put those videos in for you so you could see what actually happened. All right. All right, guys. I'm out of here. All right. Uh, you stay safe. You stay positive. You keep prepping. And as always, fear less. Try to, at least. All right. Ciao.